Ocean energy is at an embryonic stage. It is just starting. It is probably about where wind was about 10 years ago, and uh, we're at the beginnings of it. Conservative estimates are that ocean power will supply 10% of the global demand for energy in the future. Scotland's Orkney Islands are considered the epicenter of ocean energy research. The ideal conditions of the North Atlantic are the reason why industry-leading wave and tidal power developers are based here. The cooperation is very early stages in an industry, so it's all about entanglement with key developers. In a nutshell, we're basically trying to embed our solutions, whether it be bearings, seals, condition monitoring, mechatronics, lubrication systems. Reliability, maintainability and availability of the wave and tidal machines are all key to survival for technology developers today. And of course, to produce the energy affordably. Commercialization is still a few years off. The 100 megawatt farms, which can power tens of thousands of households, will start to be deployed in 2020. Anybody who has sailed, uh, anybody who's been on a fishing boat can tell you how powerful and uh, how dramatic the sea can be. Just imagine if we could harness that power. It can be very, very big. And if we do it the right way, it could create a new energy revolution. Music